Around 700 delegates from Commission member countries and stakeholders in the global fishing industry will attend the five-day meeting, which began this morning in Manila. The Western and Central Pacific Fisheries Commission is an international body that governs fishing activity, particularly for highly migratory tuna. The Commission's annual meetings are aimed at developing conservation and management measures for the tuna stock. For us, for the Commission, the main uh, topic uh, this session is the tropical tuna measure, a replacement bridging tropical tuna measure, which governs the uh, management of the tuna longline and purse saint fisheries, which is of uh, great importance to Pacific Island countries. We are, however, also looking for a uh, management measure with regard to southern albacore, uh, and then there are a number of other quite important measures, but it's tropical tuna that, that certainly is the most important, and we do want to make progress on southern albacore issue as well. Papua New Guinea, a member of the Commission and the second largest tuna producer amongst the Pacific Island countries, had a seat at the table and urged the Commission to focus on its main mandate, to manage fishing efforts in the high seas and to address the issue of disproportionate burden resource-owning countries like PNG face in putting conservation measures into effect. The Western and Central Pacific is home to the world's largest tuna fishery, yielding 56% of the total catch in 2016. Most of the largest tuna fleets in the world operate in the WCPFC convention area. Fisheries Minister Patrick Bassa emphasized Papua New Guinea's position that the zone-based measures that have delivered economic benefit to Pacific nations should not be undermined. Leon Girari, National MTV News, Manila.